the football is everything, bro. It's just like it, it never dies. It might fall out for years, but then it just bounces right back. I don't know what is in the water down here, but it's, it's just football country. It's like a religion here. It's 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 just what it's what they do. The whole, as you can see, nearly the whole town's here. Uh, we they come to expect playoffs every year, and uh, in a November, December, you can just about everybody in town on a Friday night or Saturday, whenever they might be playing. I want to say football is what brings it. It's what keeps this town together. If there was no football, there would be no. There would be no more. Well, I wouldn't have built new football field. I'd, okay. I, I would uh, improve this one. You would improve this one instead? There's a lot of tradition out there. The field was built, played the first game in 1933. 1933? Was that with Mark High School? Yeah. I played girls there. Oh. Do you win? I don't remember. I played like we did. So, Paula, what are you going to do with these doors? Um, well, they're going to be part of an installation wall. So, there's sort of two purposes. One, to draw attention to the space and kind of recreate the setting of a home using the old doors and windows. Um, and then in here I'll have a chalk panel so that people can write. So the purpose of this wall will be an interactive wall. All right, well this is a very special, very special culmination to a, a wonderful summer. And um, <coughs> next time I say I'm gonna do something, beware I'm gonna do it. <laughs> For three years I've been talking about Chandler's Field, and this is a really, really special, very special moment. Um, three years ago when I came here, I had been listening to stories about this field since 1975. And um, it was just such a great space and such a meaningful space that everybody I talked to about Chandler's Field had something to say. Kenzie says it's just the beginning, not the end. And really the, the, the purpose of tonight is to uh, thank Masana and Kenzie um, for their amazing contribution to Mart this summer. Um, to wish them well in, in their journey back to Senegal and to um, encourage them, have them get a sign a contract or something, that they have to come back. So, Sean and I were saying, we're just a flock of birds and we keep flying across the waters and the land and enter into each other's lives. And in this spot of history where so many of you have played football, watched football, were cheerleaders, um, had your kids play here, that there's a lot of things that are buried here and we're uncovering them and, and bringing them to light in, in a beautiful way to bring everyone together. So I just want to say thank you and I know I'll see you again soon, right? <laughs> Experience has been like much, so much more than I could have imagined it would be. Um, we worked really hard to make it happen this year, and it happened, but not without a lot of problems in the beginning. And um, things finally settled down, and we got here and started working. And Pansy came later, um, but the children, it just, you know. Things just seemed to fall into place, and he seemed like, I was really surprised that he started to love this place so much, and really happy about that, too, because um, I guess, you know, I've been in, living in Senegal for 10 years now, and I think I've sort of been looking for a place like this where I could come and really feel comfortable.